All right, well, this Saturday, you can come to the Texas Star Trading Company for a very special book signing with A. Sharp and Cheryl Bacon, authors of Comfort When the Shadow Falls. Here with us now is Cheryl Bacon. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, so let's talk about this book and where the idea really came from. Well, my friend Eddie Sharp, who was the minister at the University Church of Christ for about 25 years, was a truly gifted minister, mm -hmm. pastor, in working with families um, as someone in the family was dying and in grieving and in delivering funerals and that sort of thing. And so more than 25 years ago, I had said to him in the presence of some friends, you really need to write a book. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, over the course of the next couple of decades, I kept after him and other people mm -hmm. did too. And finally one night I said, you know, I could take a sabbatical and be your editor if you'd write it. And he said, I think I'm ready. So he did. So that's kind of how it began. Mm -hmm. it's, it was out of his own real gifts in that area of ministry. And so we've got to work together on it. And so let's talk about the audience for this book. You said it's not just ministers. You've kind of got a broad um, variety of people who would benefit from it. Its primary audience would be ministers, pastors, anyone who works in some sort of a ministerial mm -hmm. capacity to serve or minister to people who are dying or in grief. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a little bit broader than that because so many of us find ourselves in that situation yeah. on a regular basis. Over the past two years since we've um, be begun working on the book, um, every time I have been with a friend or a family member who was going through that kind mm -hmm. of situation in their family, I've reflected on things that I learned editing his chapters and, and working through this process with him. And so I think that it truly could be helpful to anyone who wants to find the, a way to minister in a meaningful way. And I know you said it took you a while to convince him to write this book. <laughs> right. So how long did the process really take once he agreed to it and you kind of gotten to where you are now? Um, uh, eight, nine months. Um, he started in about January of 2017, mm -hmm. and I think that his final chapter was finished. My chapters were finished, sidebars were finished by uh, August of that year. It just seems so mind blowing to me that eight, nine months to do a book, and I still have things I still have on my checklist to do. Um, but you have a book signing this weekend at Texas Star Trading Company. We do. Perfect We're very place to do it. that opportunity. So tell us about that and what people can expect. Um, that's going to, well, Eddie is going to be in town um, because he serves as a trustee at ACU, and there's actually a retirement mm -hmm. function for him this weekend. And so it was just convenient to do that while he was here. We'll be there welcoming friends uh, to the Texas Star that's graciously. Uh, offered to host this and signing books. I think most people really want to hear from Eddie. This is, I have said all along, nobody's buying a book for ministers mm -hmm. um, because Cheryl Bacon's name is on it. They're buying it because it's Eddie's book and because yeah. that's a, a real gift of his. But it's been a real joy to be a part of it and mm -hmm. I, was, I enjoyed getting to write portions of it. And so we're just going to welcome all of our friends and uh, hope some people come buy books. So let's tell everyone what Eddie is doing. I mean, he's, you know, he's living somewhere else now. Right. He has just retired from the University Church of Christ in Austin. Over the course of his career, he's been at three different university churches, one mm -hmm. in Albuquerque, one in Abilene, and one in Austin. And he has just retired about a month ago, and he and Annette have moved to Fate, Texas. If you can't find a joke in the idea of retiring to Fate, uh, yeah. you really need some help. But uh, that is what he is doing, and he's going to continue um, working with the Cybert Institute at ACU, okay. which serves churches in a variety of capacities, crisis management and training and other kinds of things. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming on today. And I know people are looking forward to this book signing at Texas Star Trading Company. So if you want to come out and buy the book and get it signed and see the authors, it will be at the Texas Star Trading Company, which, of course, is at 174 Cypress Street in downtown Abilene this Saturday, February 16th from 1.30 to 3 p.m. For more information, you can give them a call at 672-9696.